3D sketch. If you trace that, you will get zero marks. So, start to plan it out. You've got all your proportions here, so you know what it's looking like. So from there to there, quite a tall rectangle. So I'd start off with my lead corner. And tall rectangle, I think, is about to there. There's my centre. And we know that that is coming down to around about halfway. Which gives you that there, down, down. We have the the door. Coming to there before it starts to come back down. The roof comes over from the central point. But it sticks out. So let's say the roof sticks out for to about that far. So that's how I'm going to get this point here. It sticks out that wee bit and it's coming down parallel with there. Around about there. Take this across. Get the roof going across that way. A wee bit underneath. Inside a curve. It's coming that way. Right, now time to darken in. However, what you don't want is to darken in the inside edge lines. What we haven't done is the chamfer. So I'm going to add that bit in there like so. So I know where it goes. Those inside lines you want to draw like little fine lines that hardly touch the paper. Now, here's the chamfer. Bring it into there. There's a fine edge. Here's a fine edge. This edge, however, is an outline, so we can darken that in solid. Whereas this edge is a very fine one. It's a separate part. That's a corner. Basically, any bit that's a corner, you want to be a fine line. Now, this bit's different because you can't see around the back of the corner. And you can't see around the back of that corner. But you can see both sides of that corner. And you can see both sides of this corner. This edge here is open. So we need to add that in. Forget we've got that bit down there. And this bit here. Which would also end up coming in a wee bit. There we go, finished. Time to render. Uh, I need to add that wee bit. Now, red pen doesn't look good for a normal sketch, but it stands out for a video. 
So what I would recommend if you were doing it, you'd do it in normal pencil and then you can do your dark lines, etc. Now for rendering this, it's made of wood. So the predominant colour is going to be the yellow. We can use yellow pencil or we can use yellow marker. Now, I'm going to demonstrate first time with the marker and show you how. What I want to do is just to get one layer of yellow across the whole product. It's a little very flat to begin with, but as the drawing progresses, you'll see that it starts to gain 3D as you build it up. There you go, dead flat, boring and not very effective. When you are using marker pen, you do need to let it dry before applying any more. Another thing to get your head round is that because this is made of wood, there's going to be wood grain. And there's also going to be light, medium and dark surfaces. So I tend to assume, looking at this product, let's assume the light source, if the light source was coming from the top left, then pretty a lot of this would be really dark. So I'm going to assume it's coming from this side here. And if the light source is coming from there, then we're going to have light top surface, medium dark surfaces and very dark surfaces in there. So with a light surface, we don't want to go over it again. And with medium surfaces, we do want to go over them again. So all of this bit in here, I'm going to add a wee bit more. And hopefully we can start to see it picking up and looking a wee bit darker. That bit there shouldn't have gone over, should I? That should be white in there. Not a big deal. This would definitely be dark all under there. And so would that edge. So at least we're starting to get a contrast between different surfaces. And there would be very dark. We're definitely going to have shadow under there. And when you add shadow, that's all it is. You should still see the colour through there. And underneath there is going to be a little bit dark as well. And really dark up in the corner. So I'm just pressing that wee bit harder. This edge here is going to be facing... Remember what I did with my thing? So light, medium and dark. So that all the darkest surfaces I am going to add a shadow of black to begin with. So basically all the surfaces that face towards the left hand side like so and here you're going to end up having a bit of a shadow as well so it's going to be just down like there coming over to here and I'm going to make it a wee bit darker further in up here is going to be even darker still, so I'm going to add a wee bit more. I can just still see the yellow through that. And underneath the roof there, I think as well, it's going to be very dark. The bottom edges tend to be a wee bit darker as well. Further and further from the light. Where the light was coming from here, you'd have a shadow cast under there a wee bit. Now, next time we're going to try and get the wood grain. And all you want is some brown pencil. Preferably not your sharpest because you want your wood grain to be reasonably wide like that, which is why I'm holding the pencil at a fairly shallow angle. 
Let's redo that one a wee bit. And coming down over the edge, like that, you have to treat each bit separately. This bit, let's see the wood grains going from top to bottom. What you don't want is to kind of have a line matching up. It tends not to look good. And then on the inside, there will be a bit of wood grain there. So we're going to think, now well, there's going to be curved wood grain on that part. Again, think of a bit of wood. All the wood grain goes along the length, but on the end grain, you get the curved bits. And that means there's going to be a bit of wood grain there. For your wood grain, also apply um, a wee bit of orange just to the edge of it. I think that works very effectively. I'm doing it all to the underside in this case. Very faint. You're trying not to make the orange stand out too much. But just over that brown line, just add a wee bit of orange. And we could do with some highlights. So the a bit of white pencil to lighten up the real light areas. Little highlights on corners. A corner here. You're really just trying to add a sheen of white to make it look reflective to all the lightest edgy edges, so maybe even a bit down there, this edge here, that back edge, and I think that would do. If you make your starting angles a wee bit shallower, then you're going to get a view where you're looking more into it. This is slightly looking more down on top of it. But I think that does the job for the task of rendering it to make it look like wood. If I wasn't totally happy, I could cut this out and then stick it on a separate sheet because then I could get rid of that bit and make it white. What I think would help would be to just put a, a little bit of a box behind it just to kind of lift it off the page. So I've got a thick pen. Think of a colour that could uh, contrast and make it stand out or be in harmony. Maybe a little bit of red just to lift it off the page that wee bit. There we go. Okay, finished.